What's up guys, this is Erkin from HDD Recovery and uh, today I'm gonna be starting something new for this channel. Moving forward, starting today, I wanna upload one video every single day and uh, the reason for that is uh, just a personal, personal challenge. I wanna see how far I can go with that and <laughs> don't be surprised if it's gonna last like a week and then I fall off, but I'm really gonna try my best to have a video ready every single day because this is every single day there's something new happening here, something new, something interesting, something exciting. And I feel like uh, this channel really does deserve to capture that stuff. And uh, I've been trying and uh, testing several different things that will help me to make this possible. So uh, without any further ado, I'm working on two cases today, both mechanical failures. Those drives, however, do not make clicking sounds because they consist of multiple heads. And uh, as far as drive is concerned, it passes partial initialization and doesn't get to clicking only until the moment that that head has to read. One of those drives is a free play 1.5 terabyte sent from Halifax. Another one is 500 gig sent somewhere from North America. I can't recall. But uh, Hitachi drive only has two heads in it. One I was able to image fully and uh, one I can't image at all. So I'm gonna swap heads on that to get both of them running right and finish the image for the entire thing. Uh, the drive that got here from Halifax has, uh, I believe, eight heads and seven of them are running, one isn't. That results in about 30 to 40 gigs of data, as I recall, being corrupt because of that. So client wanted really like the whole thing. So client wants it, client gets it. So let's get to it and fix those guys up. Serial number is 1Z10SHHA. There you go. Channel 3. Got. That indicates that it's ready. That there shows that we're on channel three. Seagate, F3, launch. It detects as free play. And there is our serial number. Voila. Okay, let's just do a quick read test through disk scanning tools. I mean, it's not something that I do for, you know, for every case, but let's just see. I'm gonna launch heads somewhere to like 3% and before it would just 
once it comes down to the reading head that I can't process, it stumbles. But I mean, like, look at this speed, if it's gonna focus ever. It's like running at like 95 megabytes per second, and it's not slowing down. 93, 94, it just keeps moving. So all heads are working, and this drive is ready to fill the image for the gap that we've had from uh, original head assembly. There we go. It just came ready. Okay, we gotta load the uh, translator. Um, up here, where you guys see this white map versus green map, the green map belongs to belongs to head one. So we can read those sections. This belongs to head zero, as you can see, and we couldn't read those sectors. Any attempt to read those sectors would just come back with an error. As you can see, it reads head zero now just as well as it did with head one. So that was a pretty productive episode. Um, both drives are running now, and I think I'm gonna get all of the information out of both of them. So if you're into uh, data recovery and stuff like that, subscribe to this channel and uh, hit that not notification button because I'm going to be making these videos on daily now. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The name's right here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.